Hey guys, it's Jiminy and welcome back to our anime reaction. Today, we're reacting the first ever anime of fall 2024, and it's gonna be a banger to start out with because we're reacting to ReZero season three, episode one. And the craziest part about this, this episode is legitimately one hour and 30 minutes long. It's like similar to recent animes are doing where they start out the first episode with like an hour's worth of content. Oceanoko, I feel like really focus on, you can really make an anime episode an absolute banger if you put time into it. I feel like a lot more animes are starting to adapt that idea for the first episode, which I love it because that means we get a lot more content in the whole season altogether. So I'm looking forward to see how ReZero turns out. Now, of course, I will be breaking this down for YouTube because there's no way I can post like a whole hour and 30 minutes of uh, reaction to this because, of course, I have the breakdown for YouTube. So if you do want the full-length reaction, consider supporting me on Patreon, get full-length anime reactions, exclusive anime reactions, and so much more. But if you enjoy my reaction here today, Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you don't miss out on future anime reactions here because we're going to react to Shangri-La, Frontier, and a few other things. So definitely get subscribed. And for right now, though, let's get into it. So our boy is in a training course right now? That's how we saw the episode? Oh, wasn't he left off like the last season where he became like Amelia's knight, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So I assume he's doing a training course for that exact reason. Bro, it's tired. My question is how much he ran back that course, though, to get to this point. Dude, Beatrice is amazing. Like, 100%. Actually, like that, yeah. So wait, he's been training in secret for like a whole year and has Beatrice as his pack, okay. <laughs> Dude, their their relationship is so freaking funny. Uh, it's absolutely hilarious. And I'd say Garfield's probably my favorite character in this show. I'm pretty sure isn't his voice actor the same as the one who plays Bakugo? Correct me if I'm wrong, bro. <laughs> Just straight for the point. Oh yeah, he is her knight. Oh, the phrase. This guy. You probably is related to Julius. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, he's his younger brother? Bro, does not like Julius at all. Bro is struggling to compliment him. それじゃあ待たせて悪かったなってことで話の続きをちょちょっと待ってくださいその女の子はメイビーがどうかしたかしらあれはベアコお兄さんとお姉さんのお友達そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
And of course, Garf is here too. What she want him? Oh my God! Poor Oda. Bro thought he was all this shit, and then he got a reality check. He was just interested in the spirit. Bruh. Wait, what? This guy, I think he likes her. Oh my god, he likes her. Oh, what the hell? Uh, he's a weirdo. Bro. Bro doesn't know he's investing with. Isn't that one like the, uh, the bishops, right? また機会があれば勝手に運命が僕らを巡り合わせるさ。どうかんだ。それじゃ運命が導く明日の再会を願って。PTSD. She's getting some PTSD from her past. really wants to fight him. Dude, Reinhardt's background music is so much of a menace. This guy's not even phased by this attack. Bro's paranoid because, um, because he realized how strong this guy is. That's important. <laughs> Bro wants that information from Gluttony. Looks like her boy and them are here for information for Gluttony because that's what she's offering. That's why she only invited them, it seems. Because they're the only ones affected by it. I assume Reinhardt's here just in case for insurance purposes. Just in case of... You know what? Gluttony's probably in this town. If she's calling them here because of that, then Gluttony's probably here and not why they want to fight them. Bro, the compliment she was wanting from him, she got exactly that. Bro, bro is left to her words. No shot, she's alive. Cap, I call Cap. Wait, are they having a rematch? Are they training with each other? Bro, how, wait, is she alive or is she a picture of his imagination from him not like winning it properly? <laughs> so wait, it was a fiction of his imagination? Okay, that's cute. Wait, what's going on? Oh, that's problematic. Bro's scared of water though, so he has to get it, help the children somehow. That could have been bad. Oh my god, he's gonna regret being called that. Oh my god. That's that's hilarious slash cute. Bro's got a fun nickname now. Wait, something's not right. Wait a minute, is this the is this the adoptive mother? Mo mother? Or is he paranoid because of it? Wait, wait what's going on? Or it just looks like a, identical to his mother. Wait, what? I'm so confused now. What's going on with Garfield? Wait, 
今の私と孫との間にある溝の原因です So it looks like he had a bad relationship with his son after their mother's death to the point where he scared off Reinhardt. So he wants to try it. Now that he's avenged his wife, he wants to refix their relationship. I'm surprised he didn't get the letter yet because the letter would, I would assume the letter would be quick about it. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Uh, what? He's dancing with the music. Luisio? How are you? I'm not going to use it as a song. Hello, hello. Thank you very much. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Shocking. Looks like they're both shocker results. That she doesn't want to follow her. Even though, like, she could be set if she did. Okay, I'm going to be able to do it in the scene. ゆるせ、無水は我らの方であった。いいえ、そんなことは私のほうかと申し訳ないですよ。なんじゃボンプ。え、驚いてんだよ。俺はてっきり誘いを断ったリリアの。ブロー。真っ二つにするもんだとビ
probably sure what's up with her. Maybe her character is a little bit more interesting than we might think. But I'm not entirely sure either because I can't get a full read on her. To say the very least, because like you can understand somebody if you understand how they think. But uh, I can't really get in the mind of her just yet. I have some ideas, but like it's not enough information to go off logic. Uh, but the other thing with it is too, the ending was like gruesome. Like originally I thought it was a carnival thing. So it was like a joke, right? That was kind of thing. And that seems way too like coincidental that she's doing this joke. But also, can I just quickly say she was so like thankful for their time and stuff like that. But girl, we do not care. Just get to the point. But it looks like she was trying to build up the audience to get them attached to her show. So that way her ability can kick into effect because look, if she gets anyone who's affected by her ability and effect and she, somebody with her, with the show effect, but whatever the, whatever the act is and the act uh, concludes. So does everyone's life, they get concluded. Um, damn, they literally draw it out of his face, touching the ground and everyone's heads, the same way impacts explode. Like, I know our boy has returned by death and he, he feels everything that he's been through, but he hasn't felt it. In, it's like been a whole year, keep in mind, since he's had returned by death kick in. And that's the way you start off the year? Damn, that's gonna suck. Like, holy crap. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, the good thing about it is with well, Return by Death, he now knows her ability, but uh, at the same time too, wow, that is a rough way to go. That is a, that is a, yeah, that's, a, that's how you start off the year. That's how you saw the full anime season too. Like, yeah, damn, like, yeah. What are you guys' thoughts about this episode in the comments down below? Do you guys like it, hate it? Just like, I think the first like hour and 30 minutes was honestly amazing. Um, but yeah, this was a great first episode of ReZero. My big problem with ReZero is that I always get bored of it or like, I don't like the kind of looping effect of Groundhog, Groundhog Day, which I kind of get tired because of that fact. But this episode was like, I didn't get bored at all. I was always entertained. There was always something fun going on good uh, com uh, relationships going on. And it seems like a lot of the characters we saw for the first and second season are making their comebacks as like other characters in the roles. They're not like side characters anymore. They are a part of the story, which is really cool to see like Chin, for example, or I like Chin. Uh, he's actually some form of advisor. My question with it is now, now that he's going to get the letter and has information on it, I assume at this rate, based on all the information we know, is that that information that letter has an i uh, probably an address or some place where gluttony's going to be and they're gonna go first him but also i assume it's gonna be somewhere in the city just because of the fact that she called all of them there especially the people who got a, the most affected by gluttony's ability but then she also additionally called the other like, royal candidate who has ryan heart which is like the most broken character in the series by far so i assume they're probably in the city and now that we saw the the bishop of was it wrath and stuff I'm still not entirely sure how that works. Like, does the bishop's abilities of their the, their respected attributes, like wrath, are they getting their power from like the witch of wrath, or like how does that work? That's a whole another question itself. I'm not entirely sure how that works, to say the very least. But something to think about. Yeah, well, the question is, what's gonna happen next? Is our boy uh, Super gonna <laughs> focus up and try to save the kid, or like what's gonna actually happen? Also, this cough is absolutely killing me right now. But yeah. We'll come back next week to figure that out. If you guys enjoyed my reaction here today, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed to some future anime reactions, and I'll see you for one. G-Man out.